how did you let them get so close in the first place? In my head. You cannot believe that this is happening again. You know it's not what you said, and yet they're telling you it is. And all the time you get into these arguments where you're arguing over what the truth is. You know the truth. Why do you have to argue it? Why are you being targeted for gaslighting? Well, we're going to talk about why you're being targeted for gaslighting because it's not pleasant. It's not something anybody wants to deal with, but we need to know why it's going on and what we can do about it. If you stick around to the middle of the video, I will explain to you what you can do about it. But first, let's talk about what gaslighting is. Gaslighting is when somebody is lying to you and getting you to doubt your own situation, doubt your own truth. Now, they may be doing this deliberately. It may just be a pattern as a result of a mental illness that they have, or it just may be the way that they've lived life and they don't know any other way. Now, when you've been gaslighted, you distrust yourself. It's a very painful feeling. You start to not understand what's really going on. You may start to feel some symptoms of trauma because this is emotional abuse. The first thing to understand is that there's nothing special about you in particular when it comes to gaslighting. The person who's doing the gaslighting to you, it's probably just the way that they do things. It's a pattern that they've lived in their life and they didn't pick you for a particular reason, but there's a reason why it continues to happen to you. Before we get to that reason, let's talk about them for a second. The person who gaslights is probably very insecure in themselves and the reason they're doing this is because they have to somehow manipulate the situation so that they're in control, so that they feel like they're safe. They're never going to admit that to you. They're always going to make it appear like they have control over the situation, but that's usually what's going on when somebody's gaslighting you. They may not even be able to admit it to themselves. One reason why somebody continues to gaslight is because they probably have people around them who encourage this behavior or who allow this behavior. People who don't have good boundaries, they just continue to allow this person to lie. Maybe they're in on the lies, or maybe they just don't know how to stand up to the person and how to challenge that person and so they get away with it and they continue and they feel powerful and they feel good about themselves and it allows whatever bad personality traits they have to persist and if they have any mental illness it just continues that mental illness going on so the people around them are allowing them to continue gaslighting. So here's the thing, you're one of the people who's around them, so you gotta work on yourself here. And this is what I said I was gonna tell you about. If you need some help working on yourself, I have some free worksheets over my Patreon page. You can jump over on Patreon, I'll put the link above over here, and you can go over there and head on over to get some free worksheets to help you work on yourself. But let's talk about you and why you're being gaslighted in the first place and what we can do about it. So the first thing to note is what is your personality like? Do you tend to just believe everything that people tell you? Do you not question things? Because because if you do, you open the door to being gullible and you open the door to somebody who gaslights, easily um, manipulating the way that you see things. And it's very easy to get somebody to doubt themselves when they just believe what everybody tells them. Here's the thing though, usually when we see gaslighting, there's a close interpersonal relationship going on, whether that be a friend or it could be your romantic partner. Of course, we can also see this at workplace. Um, just colleagues and people you don't know that well, but usually it's most painful when it's a romantic partner So why what's going on when you have somebody who's so close to you who you have this intimate relationship with you and They're gaslighting you. How did you let them get so close in the first place? Well, I'm going to give you the easiest explanation for that The easiest explanation is that you were probably feeling vulnerable when you met your partner That's how all relationships kind of start. We have a moment of vulnerability We open up to somebody we pour out some of the deepest things about ourselves to somebody and we really want to believe that they care and we want to believe that they're going to be in our lives forever so when we start a relationship we're particularly vulnerable to believing things that may not be true and this is one reason that gaslighting continues to go on in an intimate relationship because we don't want to let go we want to believe that our partner is a good person we want to believe that they care about us and so even though they have all of these things that we know they're not true we believe more strongly in believing that this person is somebody that loves us that cares about us and we believe more strongly in the relationship and so we kind of like throw away all the lies and we brush away all the things that we don't want to believe because we're singularly focused on wanting to be in a relationship with them that's a mistake you cannot be in a relationship with somebody who's constantly lying to you who's constantly getting you to doubt yourself so that's part of the problem here is that you believe in something so strongly that you're willing to ignore all the other things that this person is doing. There's also the possibility that maybe you like this. You like this weird dynamic that goes back and forth because you like that feeling of power being wrestled back and forth. It's not a healthy dynamic, but a lot of people get caught into thinking that it is a healthy one because they grew up in environments where that's how you got love was you wrestled for love and you 
fought for love and it was this back and forth tug of war. That's not how love is supposed to go. But if that's the way that you grew up, if that's the way your understanding of love is, if you get a thrill out of it, if it makes you feel like dangerous and exciting, you might glob onto that and think that that's the way that things should be. But that is not how a healthy relationship happens. But if you continue to be in that environment, you're going to continue undergoing emotional abuse and that could turn into traumatic symptoms. And over time, it might even turn into post-traumatic stress disorder. So the truth of the matter is you may actually be enabling this behavior because you continue to buy into it. And maybe you're in this tug of war with their partner in this relationship and so you think it's fun, you think it's okay, you think it's a little bit crazy and exciting, but in, in the end it's really just harming you, it's harming your partner, and it's not doing anybody any good. And this is a big reason why gaslighting continues in your life. It's because you continue to enable your partner, allowing them to do it. You want to believe so strongly that they should be your partner, you want to believe so strongly in this friendship, or that you belong at this job that you're at, or whatever the relationship is, you believe so strongly that it has to happen, that you're willing to overlook things, and you're actually enabling the behavior and the the person's getting what they want. They're getting the power over you and they're getting control. And so there's no reason for them to ever change that behavior. So the biggest reason why somebody continues to gaslight you is you don't lay down consequences. You don't lay down your boundaries and your consequences that give them a reason to say, hey, if I continue to do this, then something's gonna happen. Whether that be that you don't talk to them for the day, you go out and enjoy your time alone, or you enjoy your time with a friend. Maybe you sleep in the other room for the night. Whatever the consequences are, you communicate them to that person, you let them know, and then they have a choice on whether or not they're gonna continue that behavior. Of course, of course you have to be ready for the ultimate consequence which is to end this relationship let it go if you continue to be in that environment if you continue to allow that dynamic to play out you're just going to keep getting hurt the other person's going to continue doing the gaslighting because it gets them what they want it gets them the power and control that they're looking for and nobody wins so if you're already confused about things and then you don't know if you're gaslighting if the other person's gaslighting what is going on what do you do but what you can do is get a third party involved ideally multiple third parties of course the therapist would probably be the best one because they're impartial and they should understand these dynamics and they have a good clue as to what could be going on but talk to your friends talk to trusted friends people who don't even know the person that's involved whether that be a worker a boss a friend your partner whoever it is talk to other people who don't know the situation and try to get a grapple with is this really what's going on talk to people online if there's a particular situation that just keeps coming up over and over again start writing things down when they happen start recording what happened so that when it comes time to actually review the situation review the argument review whatever it is you have written down notes you have recordings and you know exactly what was said what happened and nobody can try to take that away from you nobody can try to get you to question it because you know it's written down. You have the power to stop any gaslighting that's going on in your life. You need to know that and you need to know that you have the ability to do something about it today. If you're new to my channel, I have over 250 videos here on mental health. So if you want to improve your own mental health, hit subscribe and hit the bell after you hit subscribe to get notified each time that I do a new video. If you're somebody who's experienced gaslighting, please leave your tips below for anybody who might be experiencing it now so that they know that there is hope and they can get out of this. Let's discuss it below. As always, thank you for joining me here out in the woods. I'll see you around next time, everybody. Take care.